Police in India's Manipur state are maintaining a strict curfew in the Imphal Valley after fresh violence between protesters and security forces. Overnight, a group of protesters defied that curfew as they marched towards the ancestral home of Manipur's chief minister. Security forces used tear gas and batons to prevent the protesters from reaching the residents. Police have dismissed reports that a mob stormed the home, saying that the property was adequately secured. Authorities also say neither the chief minister nor his family were in the house. The previous day, demonstrators clashed with police during protests against the alleged kidnapping and murder of two students. All well, Nati students were wounded. Their injuries have led to allegations of security personnel using excessive force. Now for more, Ishan Goh joins us. He's live in New Delhi. Ishan, describe the security situation for us right now in Manipur. The Manipur uh, state uh, this morning as of Friday, it still remains very tense. The security situation there is now being described as stable, but that doesn't mean that the state has gone back to complete normalcy. Uh, the police in the state determined that uh, they uh, they may want to give people a sense of normalcy back, and which is why the curfew in the Imphal district, which is the capital of Manipur, was relaxed for nearly five or six hours on a Friday morning. But uh, the wider problem of Manipur uh, still persists with uh, many uh, security experts claiming that the problem of militancy in Manipur, the problem of the protesters still not feeling as though uh, justice is going to arrive in Manipur soon, that problem still exists. Uh, what we are now seeing is uh, the state government and the federal government, they are cooperating together. Uh, the federal government has sent in teams of the Central Bureau of Investigation, which is India's uh, apex investigative body, control by the federal government, so they are lending a hand. On top of that, we're also seeing some senior police officers now being sent into Manipur. These are officers who've had a prior experience of dealing with uh, militancy, of dealing with uh, clashes inside states, dealing with insurgencies as well. Uh, so we are seeing security situation being controlled in a way in Manipur where the government would hope that the violence can uh, be brought down. But the recent uh, pictures that have been circulated online of the uh, people who have the uh, students students who have died, that has struck a nerve, especially with the youth of the state. Ishan, security personnel have been trying to control that situation, but there have also been allegations of them using excessive force against protesters. How are authorities reacting to that? Well, it's an allegation that the authorities have taken consideration of. There was a meeting held this week and uh, the uh, state officials have said that they have formulated a two-person uh, committee that's going to look into these specific allegations and they are going to present a report uh, very soon. Uh, the security officials are also saying that they are going to uh, uh, take another look at the way they have been dealing with the protesters uh, after calls uh, came from the civil society groups in Manipur that the way the security personnel should be dealing with a, uh, adult protesters should be different from the way they uh, should be dealing with the student protesters. And this comes after uh, media reports came out and pictures came out of uh, young people being admitted in the hospital who had clashed with the police personnel uh, personnel in Manipur. And uh, some of these students uh, were shown to have pellet-like objects uh, in their skull, which doctors said could take hours to remove from surgery. The doctors did add that they did not know if it was indeed a pellet or what kind of uh, what kind of foreign particle was detected, but uh, it did go on to show, according to civil society leaders, that uh, the force, even though non-lethal, that was being used on a youngsters was still perhaps too much. The state government officials have said that they are going to uh, they are going to reduce uh, uh, the pressure that they are exerting while uh, they are encountering uh, these uh, protesters now. Ishan, thank you for that update on the situation in Manipur. Ishan Garg, they're reporting to us live from New Delhi.